Hey guys, Evan here with The Professional Amateur, and today we're going to be talking about my personal vlogging kit using the Sony a6500, Zion Crane, and Roadlink Filmmaker Lav Kit. Let's get started. But first, I have some, uh, some very important vlogging to do, so please excuse me. I'm in Denver, I'm headed to see my wife. My name is Melania. And her friend, Mickey. Yeah. What are you freezing up for? It's not... <laughs> if I have swamp ass, don't make fun of me. That was fun. Now I'm heading to Best Buy because I've got to get some supplies. I really hope I don't have a ticket. Oh my God, I'm sweating so hard right now. So in the last video that I made, I talked about using your RX100 Mark V with the Zion Crane. In an effort to always try to maximize the quality of your vlogging kits, uh, I'm going to suggest a new way of setting up your Zion Crane. Now the RX100 V on the Zion Crane is great. It's really good. The only issue is, is the audio quality really isn't the best. So, what I did was I took my Roadlink Filmmaker lav kit. I have the receiver mounted on my Zion crane and I've got the transmitter on my belt. Shotgun mics have been made extremely popular by famous YouTubers. I still have mine. I use my Shure VP83 mic. I love it, but when you're vlogging, your hand's really far away from you. You know, it's going to be at least an arm's length. And we all know that mics are best suited when they're as close to your mouth as you can possibly get them. Why not think outside the box? Use a lav mic. There's a couple extra moving parts to think about, but all you have to do is charge a few extra batteries. Really, it's even less, it's even less conspicuous than having a shotgun mic mounted to your camera. Now, I've tried every which way to mount a shotgun mic onto my Zion Crane. It's impossible. I've even used my small rig with a ton of quarter 20 external connectors, and I just can't get it to work. So. I actually used the quarter 20 connector that came on the base plate of the Zion Crane to mount my receiver for my road link. It's extremely helpful, it's inconspicuous, and I don't have this huge dead cat shotgun mic that's gonna be sitting over my camera. So I'm gonna be filming this entire gear review, tutorial, vlog, hybrid, whatever you'd like, without any sort of wind reduction, without anything, so I want you to hear what it's gonna sound like in comparison to perhaps a, an RX100 or even a, a shotgun mic that's mounted. So the reason I'm so adamant about using the Zion Crane is using one of these Gorilla Pods or any other sort of tripod, it works, but your footage just doesn't look as professional as it could be. I'm wanting to find ways to integrate the Zion Crane in my daily use. And I think this is gonna be one that I'm gonna stick with. It's effective, it's inconspicuous, it's wireless. I don't have to have a huge shotgun mic. And then if I'm in a situation where I actually have the camera turned away from me and I still wanna talk, you know, the shotgun mic is directional, so it's going to be picking up sound that's in front of the camera. But if I have this lav mic while I'm vlogging, I can turn the camera and, and do my vlogging while still being able to have my sound close to my mouth. I see that as a massive benefit. But I do want to challenge you guys to think about using the stuff that you already have in your photography and videography toolkit to create new systems like this. All right, so let's go through a few upsides of this system. Number one, the mic is connected as close to your mouth as you possibly can get it, that's a plus. Number two, when you're using the camera in the opposite direction, your mic is still connected close to your mouth, uh, as opposed to a shotgun mic, or it's gonna be directional with where the camera is facing. Number three, it's wireless. Number four, it's inconspicuous. Number five, you've got lots of audio configurations to choose from with this Roadlink Filmmaker. Downsides of the system. The mic does pick up a lot of background noise. You do, it does come with a, a little dead cat furry thing you can put over it. You can use that. It does not have a low pass filter. It does have uh, gain control built into the transmitter and receiver. You can actually reduce the, reduce the gain control by 10 and 20 decibels. I haven't tried that yet. Keep in mind I have my gain control on my camera set to uh, like one. The other downside is you've got more batteries to manage. So you're gonna have to charge four batteries rather than just two with your shotgun mic. And the last is, this could be an expensive system. And then one additional thing, if you want to consider this a, you know, a downside is, 
you know, you have to carry around this transmitter with you. Everything's good to go. Did come unclipped there. Really, it's a non-issue, but for you guys that are trying to find issues with the system, that might be one that you perceive as being one. Hey guys, thanks for watching this gear review tutorial vlog hybrid. If you like content like this and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer them. And don't forget to smash that like button. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Yeah. Mm.